Hey SnowRunner fan, in this video we're going to look at the DND Striker, a console mod. Before we start though, I'd like to shout out to all my subscribers and everyone that's liked and shared my videos in the last few months. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. So as I said, we're going to look at the DND Striker. So we're going to go to the truck store and purchase it. It's a scout vehicle. Yeah, we're going to purchase this one. And then we're going to customize it, right? We're going to put on the best engine. Yeah. Best gearbox. Or off road, anyway. Suspension. We're going to go for the tow. Do the front end a little lower tires. The recommended ones are pretty cool, but we're going to go for something just a little different. Not a lot, just a little. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, these ones. Alright. Super Swampers. 40 inch. We're going to go with the extended autonomous scout. Winch, diff locks on. We're going to get a snorkel. We'll take a look at the frame add ons, just some stuff for scouting, which we're not actually doing, so we'll leave it behind for now. But perfect for those scouting missions, let me tell you. Gas and repairs. Excellent. Ooh, sounds like a motorcycle outside. Not bad for the middle of March. Okay, we're going to add some visuals just to make the truck our own. With the front bumper and miscellaneous changes. And we're going to go with, of course, my favorite, camo. So the camo skin on this one is kind of cool. And we'll put the little dog in on the bump on the uh, dashboard. Dashboard on the dashboard. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, so we're finished building it. We'll take it outside and take a look at it. It's a good-looking truck. Four by four with four doors pretty decent size uh, pickup truck it looks good with the uh, roll bars in the back too I think it, that adds to it a lot alright take a look at the inside start it up listen to the engine oh yeah sounds great all the gauges work and they look beautiful really lovely inside yeah everything's working Alright, look through the inside, look out back. Not a great view, but a good view. Do the same for the driver's side. The mirrors are working. Yeah, pretty good look at the driver's side. Alright. Now that we've finished that, we'll take it over to the mud pit and see how it does. Put it in all-wheel drive. I love the sound of this truck. Sounds kind of like the trucks I hear passing here in the neighborhood, actually. Big Fords, GMCs, and uh, Dodge. I 
This kind of reminds me of a GMC I owned a few years back. It's doing all right through the mud here, not smashing performance, but it's doing all right. It's holding its own. Decent turning radius. Not spectacular, but decent. Of course, this is a longish 4x4, being a four door. Right? Longer than just being a regular two door pickup. Or even a crew cab. I mean, it's a full size four door. Oh, I love the sound of that engine idling. Ooh, horn could use a little work though. Sounds a bit anemic. All right, we're off to the quarry. How stable and maneuverable will this truck be? How good a job can it do on its way through the quarry? Some trucks surprise me going down through here. Whoa, I didn't realize, for example, that this one would be as bouncy as it is. Not a slow truck either. It's making its way through here pretty quickly. It's already in third gear. Uh, I'll just leave it in auto, take it down here, see how it does. Hit the brakes. Wow, I'm surprised. Again. Okay, what do we got going on? Are we going to make it through here with uh, relatively unscathed? <laughs> take it around, take it over my favorite shortcut, see if, it, uh, if that does anything here. Or if the truck just goes on its way. Alright, here we go, man. Hang a left. What happened there? Like it skipped a few frames. That was weird. Alright. Here we go. No problems at all. Surprise, surprise. I think the uh, added length of the four-door gives it extra stability. I mean, look. Look at this truck. It works a little harder than some trucks coming up here, but still does an admirable job. And it sounds really cool. <laughs> okay, here we go. The last bit up to the road. And we'll be done with our ride through the quarry. Very nice. I love coming up this hill. It's always lovely. The sun, just killer. All right. Good job. Oh, yeah. And now we're on to that raging current in the uh, flooded foothills map of the Yukon. Here we go. Whoa, easy, easy. Very anxious to get to the water here. <laughs> oh, because he's going to do an excellent job, that's why. Here we go. 
practically straight through, being swept a little by the current. Not worrying too much about it though. Awesome. Nice run. Come on, put on the brake. There we go. Done. Still not crazy about the horn. Okay, so that was a look at the DND Striker console mod. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video or found it useful or helpful, uh, I wouldn't mind if you uh, chose to become a subscriber and uh, maybe liked and shared the video. Other than that, and in the meantime, uh, stay safe and take care. And until the next video, bye for now.